Hello and welcome back to another video in one of my all-time favorite series, Everyday Things You May Be Doing Wrong That Will Shock You. And I'm not so much telling you that you're doing things wrong as much as I'm sharing a more right way to do it, a more efficient way, an easier way, a way that's gonna make your life just a little bit better. And isn't that what we all want? If you are new here, if you enjoy these types of videos, make sure you are subscribed. Big thank you to Thrive Market for sponsoring this video. And without further ado, we're gonna get started because you guys, it turns out I've been swallowing pills wrong my entire life and you maybe too. So most of us, you know, you put the pill in your mouth, you tilt your head back and swallow, right? No, there is a better, easier, more efficient way. I take like five or six pills a day and it has always been a struggle. So here is the way you want to do it. You take the pill, you put it in your mouth, take a sip of your water and then tilt your head down. This is going to push the pill right down your throat, like effortlessly, no struggling, no choking on the pills. It just goes right down. Apparently a lot of doctors and nurses know and use this trick, but I was today years old when I figured it out. Next up, you've been using gift bags all wrong all these years, and this will really come in handy with holiday season approaching. I'm a gift bag gal because I don't wanna spend the time and effort to wrap my gifts. I just don't have time for that. So I use gift bag. And what most of us do, we put our gifts, our tissue paper, then we get tape, close it right here, and that's fine, but we have a couple problems, okay? Anyone can just peek inside. That was my specialty growing up. And two, in order to open it, it's kind of a pain because the person has to get scissors to cut open the tape, try not to rip the bag. So I saw this on TikTok and it actually blew my mind. Take the strings on either side and push it through the hole on the opposite side. Do that with all four of your strings like so. So once you stick all four strings directly across to the other side, you're left with your gift bag that looks like this. Then you wanna take the two strings that you're left with hanging, pull them tight. And what this does is it creates a secure closure on the top no tape needed, so much easier. And then when it's time to open the gift bag, all they have to do, pull it open. They're not damaging the gift bag. So everyone's life is made easier. Salad's on the go. If you ever like to go out, get yourself a little Chick-fil-A, health nut, sweet green, whatever type of salad, and you know how it comes in that clear container. So most of us, we open the container, we get the salad dressing, we try to open it, pour it in, it gets messy, it's just, kind of annoying. So what you wanna do, get your salad dressing, open the top, and then close your salad container on top of it and slowly slide it out. You're gonna get every last drop of dressing out with no mess, no muss, no fuss, then shake it up. This is another one that for me is life-changing because nothing is a bigger pain in my, you know what, than when I have to hang a heavy picture. Like there is a whole operation that has to happen. We have to find this stud, we have to get it level. Like it's just a pain. So this little guy right here, how did I not know this existed? It is called a Hercules hook. You need nothing and you can hang your heavy mirrors, your heavy items on your wall. You don't need any tools. Find the part of your wall where you wanna hang your mirror, your picture, and it has a very pointy end to it. You stick it in the wall and slide it on through and it anchors itself into the wall and then you hang your picture. And here's the crazy part, this little hook can hold pictures up to 100 pounds. I'm sorry, what? Like this just changed my life. So now we're gonna switch over into the kitchen. If you are making a meal for your family, say you're making pasta and vegetables, you have your pasta going, you have your veggies in the oven, no. Like you can hack this entire process and what you do, you have your pasta going, put a baking rack on top and then put your vegetables on top of that add your lid and you can simultaneously cook your pasta and steam your vegetables. This is the dinner of choice for my kids. So this has been saving me time, energy, and mess. If you are still taking hours out of your week, lugging yourself over to the regular grocery store to get your pantry staples, household supplies, you are doing it wrong. There is a better way and that is Thrive Market, who is very kindly sponsoring today's video because not only does Thrive Market make it easier and more convenient to get better for you household items, but it's so much cheaper and this matters now more than ever, like with inflation, with everything going on in the economy, I still want better for you items, but I don't wanna pay inflated prices. And at Thrive Market, it's a membership model. So kind of like Costco, you become a member, you get locked into their savings and it's all very transparent. Like on the website, you can see how much the items would cost at like Whole Foods or Sprouts and you see how much you are saving. And it is significant. Like on any given order that I do at Thrive, it's typically between 
between $25 to $50 in savings. And that really, really adds up. And this box that just came today is a very special one. This is my wine. We get all of our wine and stock up from Thrive Market because they offer wine that's organic, no pesticides, that doesn't give me like that wine headache. And if you use my code that I have today, you can get an additional 30% off. So look, you can stock up on your wine for the holiday season, get 30% off, and you'll get a free gift up to a $50 value. I read in the news the other day that consumer prices are going up record amounts. So with Thrive, you know, and you're guaranteed that you are getting the best price. They have a best price guarantee. They have a savings guarantee. So there is no risk to you. You will be saving. So I will have the link down in the description box again to save 30% and get a free gift. I'm telling you guys, do it today. You will thank me. I think we can all agree the life motto that butter makes everything better. Okay. I don't make the rules. It's just a fact of life. I am willing to bet that 75 to 80% of people probably keep their butter in the fridge, right? At least Americans, okay? But I just recently found out, so in case you don't know, you actually do not need to keep your salted butter refrigerated. And this is because butter is mostly fat. It only contains a very small amount of protein, which is not enough to promote significant bacteria growth. And then when you add salt to that, it is extremely bacteria resistant. And even better, you can get one of these guys. It's called a butter bell to keep your butter nice and soft, shelf stable, fresh on your countertop. So the way that this works is you put your salted butter in the top here, you put a little bit of water on the bottom, close it down like so, and it creates an airtight seal and keeps your butter perfectly softened. So when you're ready to have your toast, you have nice, soft, spreadable butter. These are the little things in life. You actually don't even need a butter bell. You can just use one of these airtight butter containers, whatever's easier for you. I kind of like the bell because it's cute. I haven't been able to find conclusive information if one of these is better than the other. Now we're gonna move on into the bathroom with a couple beauty and grooming related ones. So if you are just you know, shaving your leg, shaving your underarm, rinsing it off with water, putting your razor back, you're doing it wrong. Here's what you wanna do instead. After you're done shaving, rinse it off, then get your towel, fully pat it dry, then put it back. Just that little extra step of drying the razor before you put it back. I am telling you, your razor will stay good for a full month longer. This not only prevents it from rusting, it keeps your razor good longer. Now your hair, most of us, you know, shampoo, condition, dry our hair, go on about with our life. Well, here's what you may be doing wrong. You may not be using a leave-in conditioner. This was not a step that I always did. And then I learned from a hairdresser that it is essential to always use a leave-in conditioner every single time after you shower because what this does is it locks in the hydration. It locks in the moisture and all the benefits of your hair care products that you just use. I used to use a leave-in conditioner every once in a while. No, now I use it every single time. I have noticed my hair health improving. This is the specific one I use. You can use whatever one you like. I like this one because it smells so good. I just want to smell like this all the time. Why do hair care products smell better than anything else? There's a conspiracy somewhere in there. If you were just getting store-bought flowers and then plopping them in the vase, they're actually going to look much better, much nicer, more so like a professionally styled bouquet. All you have to do is cut the stems to different lengths. This is going to make your bouquet of flowers look more dynamic, more multi-dimensional, and again, more styled in your home. And just by taking that extra little step of cutting them to different lengths, look at the difference this makes. Like it just looks that much nicer and it takes no time. If you are a crazy backseat driver, like I may or may not be, okay, fine. It's my toxic trait, okay? I can't relax. And I have shared this before, but in case you didn't see it, there's a little lever on the seatbelt itself that you can move it down so it lies at the proper position on your chest instead of like cutting off your airway being too high up you can actually adjust that as well mosquitoes are currently ruining my life they are worse now than they've ever been or at least that i've ever noticed so i've been trying every little tip and trick natural tip to keep them off of me without crazy harsh chemicals and what i found out there are certain essential oils that mosquitoes hate i will put a list of all of them here so whatever one you like most i like lavender essential oil i mix that with a carrier oil and just put that directly on your skin it's just nice to keep things simple and it did work i have not gotten a bite ever since I started doing that, so try it. And if you have not watched last week's video, I will have it right here. It's a fun one. That's where I share the realty on sponsorships that I've turned down. And that 
should tell you how picky I am and how particular I am with brands I do choose to work with, which is why I feel so strongly about Thrive Market, why I continue to work with them. With consumer prices going up, you just wanna know and feel like you are getting the best deal and you are saving wherever you can. So I will have my link to save 30% and get a free gift. And with all of that said, thank you as always so much for watching and I will see you next time with a new video.